Hey guys, Nubasaurus here, and uh, I just wanted to quickly show you a little concept uh, thing that I've been working on. So, real quick, um, I saw a video by uh, Lawrence Wayne, who had just built, not just, I mean it was a while ago, but he built a 32 by 32 pixel screen with its built with a uh, built-in GPU, and uh, the process that he used to, um, you know, create the imagery was actually quite ingenious and I wanted to see if I couldn't improve on it a bit because it used um, 4x4 pixels and that's kind of an or not 4x4, 2x2 pixels and uh, that's kind of annoying you know because I wanted to try and set it up so that one block equaled one pixel you know pretty much the smallest you can get um, so that's what this is it's just me kind of improving on his design anyway if you want to see his video I'll have his uh, I'll have a link to his video down in the doobly dop um, <laughs> but yeah, it's, um, it, it basically works the same way as his, it's just much smaller, uh, pretty much only uses one command block per stage, um, uh, unless, you know, it's the color selector, but basically the only thing I improved is, um, the XY selector. What he used is he used a bunch of, um, uh, redstone blocks first in the back and then on the side to select the XY coordinates. What I did was I... On the X, have a bunch of command blocks that uh, basically fill uh, a 16 tall pillar above the command block uh, of stone. So if I push the button, you can see a pillar of stone appears. Uh, and then on the Y, we've got it uh, basically looks this way and replaces any stone in its path with wool. So if I go ahead and push this button, you can see now that that's been replaced. Uh, and then this command block is supposed to do three things, but I guess I misunderstood the syntax of the command. But basically, uh, in the next stage, it needs to take this wool block, move it here, and delete all the stone. Well, it does that first part pretty well. Uh, if Mojang can set it up so that filtered, when used with move, deletes the whole thing, that would be helpful. But until then, I have to use this other command block. That just removes the stones. So that now moves that pixel into the coloring zone. And the coloring zone allows me to... You know what? Let's just throw in a few more pixels. Just just to, uh, you know, show you what it does you know, on a little bit larger scale. So if you were running a program, um, it would basically be doing this back and forth. Um, building each pixel, then moving it, and then doing that over and over again. Uh, so I, uh, you know... Um, got a RAM design over there that's basically going to do that. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so now with that we got some pixels in there. We can go ahead and pick a color, and I've already gotten color coded. Let's do red. Red's always a good color. Uh, and then what you can now do is you can move that into the next one. Uh, the next, this is the, the, the buffer zone, basically. So you have the build, the color, the buffer, and then the um, push, the screen itself. So... That stuff is now saved in the buffer, and we can now build uh, some more pixels. We'll go ahead and just, I don't know, do some random junk here. Uh, no, not that one. Let's clear that. <laughs> I'd have a program doing this for me, so I wouldn't make mistakes like that, but uh, that's good. Okay, sure, why not? Just go ahead and do that. And so, now that uh, we got some more white wool there, we'll go ahead and do cyan. So, that colors anything in this area, but it doesn't color anything in this area or this area, just to make sure that they're all separated. So now if we go ahead and push it in, it actually uh, masks um, so that it doesn't overwrite the red blocks that are already there. When I'm ready to load my image, I just hit that, and it pushes it onto the screen, just like that. All at once, basically. Uh, so that's that's pretty cool. I, I, you know, the guy's idea was pretty clever, and like I said, all I did was just improve the X Y system. Uh, and then, of course, if you want to clear the GPU, you just hit that. Fills the whole thing with black wool. So, yeah, that's all I wanted to show you. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. Um, you know, enough to like and subscribe. It's always always appreciated. <laughs> but uh, you know, I'll see you in the uh, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.